Hi guys, so I'm here today with a beauty haul video and it's going to be a long one so pause this video, go make yourself a cup of tea or coffee or hot chocolate and then come back to watch the video. This time it's a lot of high-end makeup and it's mostly makeup, I have only three skincare products. Also I didn't cut my hair, I just tucked it into my jumper because I always love you know, cozy knit jumper and hair tucked in kind of look. It's very Burberry, I feel like. Anyway, let's start with the haul. So Vichy is currently on sale in our pharmacy Eurovestine. And I went in there looking for a spot treatment because I have tons of hormonal spots right now, like really big and painful ones. And I wanted something like a local spot treatment that would help me get rid of those. So I always wanted to try this one, which is Vichy Normaderm High... I cannot pronounce this word, it's Hyaluspot. So I guess it's Hyaluronic Spot Treatment, probably. And it comes with this. Uh, interesting metal applicator which um, makes me think of eye creams like you know those cooling eye gels that have a metal tip to like reduce puffiness so I think it's also very hygienic because of that I've used it for two nights in a row and I feel like my spots reduced in size but they haven't disappeared completely so I'll keep on using it it's a bit stingy when you put it on but you know I hope it works and I got it for 11 euros, I believe. And then I got Vichy Idealia BB Cream in the lightest color. It says ideal skin quality and complexion. It does six things, illuminates, hydrates, smooths wrinkles, refines skin's texture, reduces dark spots. This is what it looks like. Um, Melanie Murphy actually has been raving about this BB Cream for a very long time now and I was always very curious. And I have it on my skin right now. I used it yesterday as well and First impression isn't that great. I can't say I love it. It's nice, but it didn't really impress me. Um, I love the scent of it. This is the thing I love the most. It just has a very like fresh floral scent. It smells like very high-end makeup. It makes your skin look very glowy, healthy, and youthful. So if you have dry skin, this would be amazing. But the thing that I didn't like is that it offers pretty much zero coverage so it didn't cover any of the blemishes that I have any redness so you have to have pretty good skin already to use this well what I did I just used this and then I used concealer on my like blemishes and under eyes but so yeah I think this is just for people with really really good skin if you don't have any spots and breakouts and you just need a light glowy base uh, this is amazing. I got six products on a blog sale. Um, I follow a blogger called uh, Diana. She has a blog called Adventures of Barbarella and she's a singer and songwriter and I've been following her for like six, seven years and it's not the first time I purchased makeup from her. I love her personality, style, music, um, like her makeup taste, like everything about her. I, I really enjoy her and well, obviously I've been following her for so many years. She used to have a YouTube channel. I used to be obsessed with it. I remember her doing a video with a collection of new Chanel lipsticks that she got. And I feel so nostalgic about that. I, I used to love her videos. They were like my treat after a long day. I would grab a cup of tea and watch a new vlog or you know, just a video from Diana, and I'm so sad she doesn't film anymore. She did like a blog sale on her Tumblr, so I'm gonna leave the link down below. And whenever she sells makeup, she 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 mainly uses high-end makeup, and whenever she sells it, the prices are so low. It's probably because she's had them for a couple of years, but still, like, I don't mind that, personally. <laughs> I kind of trust her. She's not a filthy person or anything, so I love buying makeup from her because it's a very good deal and high quality makeup. And I want to give a shout out to Diana. Um, I encourage you to listen to her music, it's fantastic, I love it so much. And also, like, have a look at her blog sale because she still has some uh, amazing products for great prices left. So, yeah, so, so I got six. So the first one is Bobbi Brown chocolate palette and oh my god, I cannot believe that she was selling this because it's a limited edition, well I'm holding it upside down, it's a limited edition palette, Bobbi Brown tends to come out like with 
their like chocolate palettes. This season I think they released a dark chocolate palette and they're always gorgeous. I've been wearing it so much throughout the month and to me this is the perfect palette. Like there's not a shade I wouldn't wear. Look at that. They're all warm colors. You have four matte shades and then three shimmery colors. I'm wearing these eyeshadows on my eyes today. So I'm wearing this one right here and then this matte color in the crease. With Naked palette, I love it, but I don't love all of the colors that are like those bluey gray ones that I would never wear. And with this palette, like it's perfect for traveling, for everyday makeup. This is like all I need really. Maybe you can browse on Amazon or eBay and look for it. Um, another Bobbi Brown palette she was selling is a Burnt Sugar Metallics palette. So, so gorgeous, right up my street. And she still has the plummy one, plum shimmer one left. And how much was she selling this for? Also really inexpensive. So you have these stunning colors. You have toffee, gold dust and burnt sugar. Um, so it's a champagne color in the middle and then like two bronzy, stunning colors. Look at those buttery eyeshadow, super pigmented, just exactly what I love. So I think these will be a, like staples in my um, makeup routine from now on. Another thing I wanted to get for a long time is a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick and I wanted to get the Rose Quartz one, but she was selling Sandstone and these retail for like 45, 48 euros, really expensive. And she sold this for four pounds and it's just gorgeous. It's like right up on my street again, gold and bronze colors. And it's more intense than Mary Luminizer. It's just a really full on highlighter and it looks so beautiful on your cheeks. But I would say it's not for daytime, it's more of an evening highlighter. When I saw this, I couldn't believe my luck because I've almost run out of my All About Eve eyeshadow palette from NARS, which is my all-time favorite holy grail eyeshadow palette. I'll probably wear it on my wedding day, not palette, duo. It's just me in an eyeshadow. I love it so much. And um, one of the shades broke, another one is I've almost used up. And I was thinking of purchasing a new one. And I saw Diana selling this for, again, like, I don't remember, four or five pounds. I was like, yes! And she's still selling some of the NARS eyeshadows. And look, she didn't even use it. She just, like, swatched it, I think. It's not even used. And I'm so glad. But she mentioned that the packaging got sticky because of, you know, time or something. I don't know. Mine is not sticky. I don't know. So maybe I can depot these into my palette, find a way to do that. I don't know, but either way, I'm so, so happy to have a backup of this right now. Uh, she was selling her Tom Ford nail polish in toasted sugar, and I was like, wow, I need this because I'm all about nude nail polishes. You guys know that. I remember seeing a picture of her wearing this nail polish on her nails, and I think it probably didn't suit her skin tone or she didn't like it. I don't know the reason why she was selling it, but I love it. It's my new favorite nude nail polish. Again, I think I paid like four pounds. Ridiculously inexpensive for a gorgeous Tom Ford nail polish. And I wore it last week for the entire week. It didn't chip. Like it's the longest lasting high-end nail polish because I don't really have luck with high-end nail polishes, especially Chanel. And this one is so long lasting, applies beautifully. It looks like it gives me that mannequin nail look and I, I love it. I love it so, so much. And now I know that the quality of Tom Ford nail polish is so good. So in the future, if I will be into splurging, I won't be afraid to get a Tom Ford nail polish. The last product I got from her is By Terry um, Liquid Blusher. They call it Cellula Rose Blush Glacé and I have it in Rose Melba. This one was more expensive. I think it was 10 pounds, but still for By Terry, it's really inexpensive and it looks like a sh camera it doesn't pick up the color it looks like a highlighter neon like corally pink color it's so intense and so bright but i have it on my cheeks today well you probably cannot tell you need just the smallest amount of it you put it on your 
skin and blend it out and it gives you that almost like model cheek look a very fresh youthful rosy cheek and even if it's shocking in the packaging as I said you just need a tiniest dot blend it with your fingers and you're good to go you look very fresh faced and just you know a little bit of rosiness uh, on your cheeks so I'm very happy with that and she also included a nurse like a wash bag for me like two like makeup bags uh, from NARS skincare collection. So thank you for that extra gift, Deanna. I don't think she's watching, but still, I'm gonna mention that. And yeah, I think it was such an amazing purchase because I spent like, probably like 50 pounds, but I got six high-end, amazing products. Like, I love every single one of them so, so much that I would pay full price. So that's incredible, I think. Sometimes blog sales are really good and dangerous at the same time. So you guys know that when I went to Paris, I wanted to get Laura Mercier lipstick in Spiced Rose. It's the lipstick that Tanya Burr wore on her wedding day. I was sure that it's the color that I would love as well. Instead, I got the Dolce Gabbana one on a whim and I, I thought, well, I cannot purchase two high-end lipsticks in one day. So I, I came back home, I browsed on Amazon and I found this lipstick and I was so happy. It's because it was one of those things that, you know, when you have something in your head that you want to get and you can't stop thinking about it, it always happens with me. If I want something, I will do anything to have it. So I found the lipstick in Spice Rose and I got it and it was even a better deal. I think I paid 20 pounds for it with shipping. So I think it's a very good price. And ah, that's the lipstick. It is so beautiful. It's right up my street. And this is what happens with Tanya. Whatever she recommends, I want to wear. I think it's because like, especially with lipsticks, I think we have the exact same taste in lipsticks. Like I love the colors that she wears and I know I can always trust her recommendations because they will always suit me because she likes those kind of deeper rose nude brownie kind of colors and I love those shades as well and this is just so beautiful. I wore it yesterday, it's actually quite similar to the lip liner. Wait, I'm gonna actually take off the lip liner and apply the lipstick for you on camera. It's, it's perfect all year round really. So that's the lipstick guys, I think it's perfect for everyday, just a mid-tone nude rose color. I would say it's a bit similar to Charnel from Dior that I love to wear, but a little bit darker and less peachy, more like a brown rose color. So beautiful, I love it. I think it's gonna be my holy grail as well. And then some more Tanya Burr products. She released two new cheek palettes and of course I had to get them being such a huge fan of Tanya. So I got one for my cousin Daiva, just as a little treat to her. I'm gonna insert a little clip of how the palette looks here. I think it's called Rosy Flush. And Tanya recently filmed a tutorial using it. It looked stunning on her as everything. It, all the makeup looks amazing on her. And then for myself, I got this one called Peachy Glow because you guys know I'm all about my peachy warm colors. So it has, both of the palettes contain this bronzer called Beach Bronze, which has some shimmers, but I hope it won't be too visible. Then you have a blush called Apricot Flush, which is an apricot color with um, tiny silver shimmery flecks. And then a beautiful, beautiful highlighter called Champagne Shimmer. Champagne highlighter. I just cannot wait to try this palette. It looks like you have everything you need in one palette. The colors are so stunning in real life. Like they look amazing. Uh, I think oh, camera doesn't do justice. I think the colors look too bright on camera and in real life it's just so it looks very elegant. So cannot wait to use it. And I got it on Feel Uni for 11 euros, I believe. I decided to give my mom a little treat as well. So I got this palette in fairy tale. The Hollywood is sold out, so I think they only have fairy tale and the other one left. So this is what it looks like. I thought these are the colors that my mom would like. She she uses colors like that on an everyday basis, and the names are so perfect. I know that Tanya put a lot of effort into naming her products, but 
Like these are the most perfect names. Like look, this kind of bone looks like a Bobby Brown bone shade called Cream Tea. I think it's so cute. This one, um, a matte brown color called Velvet Cushion. Alohomora from Harry Potter, which is like a steel color. And then a matte brown col color called Witch's Cat. I, I love the name so, so much. I could use this palette just for the names. <laughs> So I really hope my mom will like it and I can steal it from her for filming a tutorial for you guys if you would like that. Maybe uh, together with this palette. I don't know, let me know what you think. And then lastly I have two skincare products. These were sent to me by Clinique. Uh, they sent me this really cool box with a big light bulb. I posted it on my Instagram. It's one of those kind of stylish, nice light bulbs. And I had their Smart Serum for the face, which I loved, but it's so expensive. I think it's like 100 euros, something crazy like that. It's amazing, but I cannot purchase it again. And this time they sent me their eye cream called Clinique Smart Custom Repair Eye Treatment and then a facial moisturizer. This is a daytime one, I believe. And Oh my god, you guys, these products just launched, just came out in the shops. These products are so amazing. They blew me away from the very first use. I was like, wow, like seriously, wow. So the eye cream, it looks like you get a lot, but you get the standard 15 milliliter. It is so, it's the most moisturizing eye cream I've ever tried. It just feels so insanely good under your eyes. It's so, so hydrating. And it kind of feels like all of the fine lines disappear it's just amazing amazing and then the moisturizer as well comes with a little protector it looks like that it is a quite a rich moisturizer you need the tiniest bit for the whole face and again it just feels so moisturizing it doesn't feel greasy or cloying or like too like I don't know, too rich. Just leave this layer of hydration onto your skin and it just, your skin instantly looks plump and feels super hydrated and like youthful and fresh. You don't even need to wait for seeing the results. It's just instant results. Both of these products are ridiculously moisturizing. It's just amazing for the upcoming, uh, you know, cold season. I would highly, highly recommend these two guys if you don't mind spending more on your skincare and if you have the money, definitely give these a go. You won't be disappointed. I cannot say enough good things about these products. Thank you, Clinique, so much. I am I am in love. I love these products. Okay, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this haul video. I know it's a lot of uh, beauty products, but I think I made really good purchases. I'm so happy with everything. There's not a single product that I don't like. So I'm sorry, guys, if your wallets will be crying now. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.